The third age of Middle-earth was my age, and Sauron was my enemy. I kindled hope, the secret fire of Arnold in the hearts of others. Sauron, in his greed, bound all power in the one. As Sauron mingled his own blood with the ring's gold, so did I mingle myself with my magic. No, Gandalf! <coughs> anyway, we all know how it turned out, right? For all who live here, I wove but a spell of trust and fellowship given free. Oh, While look at that. My work is finished. The work of others is about to begin. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy! Coming, well, it's already out by now. Still waiting for Blu-ray. Of the extended editions, of course, not the crappy theatrical editions. <coughs> well, I shouldn't say that. The theatrical editions are... Still decent, but nothing compared to the extendeds. I think we'll all agree. <coughs> Woo! One fair kill! Zero, zero, zero! <coughs> 10,000 XP. Hey, look at that. Two levels up, just from one little frickin' enemy. Alright, doesn't really matter at all what we buy right now because the game is over. <coughs> so, what am I gonna do? <sighs> I suppose I'll cave in and buy Final Judgment for everybody. And I'll. Yeah, I'll buy Poison Blade. Continue! Save game, yes! All right, that's all, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I uh, someone asked if I was gonna do the Palantir of Sauron, the Palantir levels. There's a uh, Palantir of Saruman, and I still haven't unlocked Palantir of Sauron over here. <coughs> I probably won't because I have never ever been able to complete them without cheat codes, which, by the way, are right over here. Restore health, perfect mode. Always devastating, which means it'll always break through shields. All upgrades, infinite missiles, invulnerable in targeting indicator mode. <coughs> uh, you know what to celebrate? Let's let's the completion of the entire freaking game. Let's watch the Andy Circus interview. What did they steal? A major addict who, who just needed needed his fix. Um, he was like a kind of a junkie, ring junkie. Must have the precious. Because we're using motion capture a lot, um, and the animators are silly golem tricks are for kids. Mapping that they're animated. The keyframe animators are, are matching every expression. Anyway, that, that didn't make sense. But the way that his face moves is based on the way mine does. So. <coughs> It goes through three processes. I shoot on set with Elijah and Sean, and we act all the scenes together. And then I work in the motion capture studio, repeating every single scene. And then I do the final voice track. Yes, precious. The voice was was really um, born out of two things. One was trying to find a, a psychological root into why he speaks like that. <laughs> but actually, in physical terms, it 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 came from. Cats. It came from we had three cats at home, and uh, they do this incredible kind of convulsion where they when they cough up fur balls and they kind of go <laughs> like that, and that and so that really became how. <laughs> I've not done any ADR yet <coughs> for the actual film, so so it's actually quite you know I'm getting my head back into thinking okay, you know this is obviously taking a parallel journey through although through a game, 
So it's actually quite nice to sort of visit where I'm going to be. Can you imagine the pranks he can play on his friends and family with, with that voice? Do a voice also for the game before we actually do the ADR. That <laughs> would be freaking Touch awesome. The precious and will be the master. Okay, and now, as we can see, if we go here, we have unlocked some characters as well. We can play any character on every any level, and we have also unlocked Frodo, Pippin, Merry, and Faramir. All of which are pretty awesome characters. <sighs> anyway, I guess I'll end it here. Again, thanks for watching, and join me next time when, hopefully, maybe, I find another game that I'm good enough to LP. Bye.